host bishop and the entire house of clergy, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, our host governor, my colleague Mutula Jr., viongozi wote wale wako hapa kutoka serikali kuu na serikali ya county na wananchi watukufu wa wote diocese hamjambo mwea ya taiwe bwana sifiwe god is good and all the time asante sana your excellency tumefurahi sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo hii ni siku yangu ya pili kuja hapa wote. Tulikuwa hapa September last year katika ordination ya Bishop Kariuki na ukanituma hiyo siku na salamu na nikapatia hao wananchi watukufu wa wote. Nikawaambia ulikuwa unataka kuja lakini hukuweza na wakanituma nikwambie uje siku ingine. Na leo umefika. Teoseosio asanti sana. Your Excellency, mimi ni rafiki ya watu wa ukambani sana kwa sababu kule embu two wards, ward inaitwa Moya na Makema imejaa wakamba. Na huko hata MCA wanachagua anakuanga ni mkamba. So to me, Kambas are part and parcel of Embu County. Na nawapenda sana na pia wao wananipenda sana wananipatianga kura vibaya. Kwa hivyo nawapenda sana. Your Excellency, pia hawa ni jirani katika Eastern Province tumekuwa kitu kimoja and I'm here feeling at home because pia tumewaletea bishop ambaye alikuwa na sisi kule Embu, Bishop Kariuki ambaye sasa nasikia mnamuita Bishop Kasioka nikasema si kasioka sasa tumefurahi sana kwamba eh, makueni county and embu county tumekuwa marafiki kwa sababu ya bishop karioki na ndio maana tumekuja hapa mimi na senator wetu na wananchi kutoka embu county tumekuja kuambia bado tunawapenda na tutaendelea kuwashikilia your excellency mimi nimefurahi kwamba umekubali kuja hapa kushikilia rafiki yako Bishop Kariuki kwa sababu tarehe tisa tulikuwa na yeye alikuwa amekuja katika ile National Lenten Campaign Lodge ya Catholic Church na tukikula late lunch akatuambia tukiwa na Bishop Moheria ako na haraka lazima amalize haraka kwa sababu he has to drive all the way masaa nne kutoka embu mpaka hapa wote na ile shida alikuwa nayo ni kwamba anaishi kwa monastery na mahali anaishi kwa monastery ni kwa masista na huko kuna ile saa lazima uwe umefika na ni saa moja sasa alikuwa anatuambia ikifika saa moja kama hajafika atakuwa na shida kubwa sana anaweza lala nje kwa hivyo leo tumekuja kuhakikisha kwamba utapata mahali mzuri ya kulala utakuwa na mahali ya ofisi na utakuwa na mahali ya kufanyia watu wa wote diocese kazi mzuri na nataka kukushukuru kwamba ile bio na kazi ulitufanyia kule embu umeleta the same same energy katika makueni wote na mimi niliwaambia wakati tulikuwa hapa last ya kwamba mkiwa na Bishop Kariuki mtaanza kuona mambo ikibadilika hapa wote. Kwa hivyo mjue muko na Kasioka anajua kuchapa ka Kasioka mchapa kazi. Pia your excellency I want to thank you because nimesikia mheshimiwa mmoja hapa akisema haukuchaguliwa sana huku. Lakini even after that you have become a president of the entire country na umekuja hapa kuonyesha hao watu wa makueni that you are their president and you are ready to work for them na ndio maana unasikia the kingdom iko karibu kuisha housing ndio hiyo nasikia ukiambiwa uhakikishe imeisha najua pia markets 
zile unatengeneza in other counties hata huku makueni kuna markets ambazo umesema lazima ziishe ambazo zilikuwa zinaitwa economic stimulus package markets ambazo zilikuwa katika kila constituency one market na mingi ya hizo projects hazikuisha kwa miaka kumi na tano. We umeona usaidie mama mboga, umalize hizo markets, diyo mama mboga aone mahali ya kufanyia biashara. Hiyo ni mzuri ya masi mzuri. So your excellency, I just want to request the leadership of Makueni, the MPs, governor and all your MCAs, support the national project that his excellency is going to bring to Makueni because he's bringing them bringing those projects for the benefit of the people of Makueni and i want to appreciate you my brother Mutula Kilonzo because i have seen you support projects that not only come from yourself but also from the national government finally your excellency niko na rafiki yangu hapa Makueni wa thati. Na ni rafiki napenda who mentored me when I was in the civil society na kanifundisha what governance means what people centered leadership means na naitwa professor Kivudha Kibwana na professor your excellency is a very brilliant man highly intelligent hard worker very humble so kwa sababu ya kuwa very humble it's very easy to forget Kivudha Kibwana because hautaona kikusukuma juu ya kitu chochote. Yeye yeah, anakaa tu ukimuona ni sawa, usipomuona ni sawa. Huyo ndi Professor Kivudha Kibwana rafiki yangu. Mi nataka kuomba your excellency. Nimesikia Mheshimiwa Ishongo akisema serikali bado utaweza kuingiza watu wengine kwa serikali. Nataka kuomba Ukiangalia watu wale watakufanyia kazi mzuri kwa serikali yako kutoka huku ukambani na kutoka hapa makueni usisahau professor Kivudha Kibwana is a very good man and i know his heart he means well for his people asanteni sana watu wa makueni ngaiamuradhime na mogaoka na kasioka ko 